so beautiful, so powerful. If you want to learn more about insects, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, the moth with the famous skull on its back from Silence of the Lambs. It's real! My name is Bart Coppens and I am an online entomologist who makes videos about insects. And today I am pre pre presenting you a real and live death's head hawk moth, Acherontia atopos. And a lot of people ask, why do these moths have this skull-like marking on their back? It really kind of looks like a skull, doesn't it? Now guys, I'm an entomologist who breeds these moths in captivity and what's interesting about the skull markings of this species is that in each individual the skull marking looks a little bit different. This one for example looks a little bit less like a skull. As you can see, each of them have a slightly different marking on their thorax, that's what the body part is called, where their skull marking is. Some of them don't really look much like a skull. This moth here on my finger is the one who looks the most like a skull right now, so I decided to use this one for a video. Now there are several theories on why the moths have this marking. But the leading theory is that it resembles the face of a worker bee. Wait, what? That's crazy, Bart. Why would they resemble the face of a worker bee? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's because these moths have the unique ability to infiltrate beehives and drink the honey. Yes, that's right, they literally steal the honey from the beehive by infiltrating the beehive. And in order to fool the bees, they have several tricks up their sleeve. First of all, their smell. It's said that death's head hog moths smell like bee pheromone. They kind of mimic the smell of a worker bee. Second of all, they can make a squeaking sound that sounds like a queen bee, which may help to confuse the bees and trick them into thinking it's their queen, not a giant invader. But lastly, bees actually have sophisticated facial recognition. And the leading theory is that the skull on their back fools the bees' facial recognition because it makes them look like the face of a worker bee. Now these are all just theories, but this theory seems to be the most believable one right now. What do you guys think? This was Bart Coppens with just a small fun fact for you about a death's head hawk moth. So beautiful, so powerful. Ah. I am delighted to see you guys again. Have you ever heard the sound a death's head hog moth can make when you upset it? Just a little bit. Whoa! Instead of good quality moth content, it seems the algorithm just wants people to spam squeaky squeaky moth videos. So that's what I did today. This is a death's head hog moth. And I breed them in captivity for fun and they make a lot of noise when they are touched. It's really cool. If you want to see some really in-depth, high quality moth biology and life cycle videos, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.